Hey, um, good morning everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, a little bit different today, it's kind of a day in the life. Um, but I'm actually on Auntie Sarah duty this week, which is why I'm walking downstairs, because normally I live in an apartment. But today, look, he's wagging his tail and everything. This week we're looking after this little man. He's not so little. Are you? What's the eggy? Oh, hello. Say hi to everybody. Good boy. Oh, thank you. So I'm on hecky duty, which means I am um, going to be looking after this guy who's currently like led on my arm. Bear in mind he weighs like 55 kilos um, and I'm trying to hold up my like tripod. So um, yeah, can I point this down so you guys can see? Yes, there we go. Um, and I'm going to be training at Yorkshire Strength today. I have a double session. We're going to be going on doggo walks. So yeah, stay tuned guys. That's how he feels. It's still early. Heck, you're on camera, don't we? We're sniffing stuff like that. Hecky, just walking our wolf to the park. Go, oh, come on. He's supposed to be making me look good. Good boy. So this is Hector's favourite trick, also known as his slug trick. You done? Okay, good. Thanks, pal. Good boy. Come on. Here he comes. Good boy. So anything more satisfying than watching a dog play with a hose? Catch ya. Catch ya. He's too hot today, isn't it, Hecky? Too hot. Zoom, zoom. Okay, so walk number one is done. Um, we had some fun. Hose Hector down in the garden, played with the hose. Then he dug a hole, then he got muddy, so I had to hose him again. They did some work, um, and now we're getting ready for training. So, gotta make myself a shake. As always, close the lid. Ah! Um, and don't forget, guys, I do have a my protein code, which I will um, stick the link down below. But it is um, SD10, I think. Um, so make sure you use that because. Not only do you get a discount, but it helps me out because I get a little bit um, contribution towards my own supplements. So just put in a little bit of creatine and then I use the Impact Whey Protein Elite. Um, this is natural chocolate. To be fair, it's all right as far as flavors go because protein flavors can be a little bit eh. Um, so yeah, we are about to head out to session one. So me and my coach have made the decision to split some of my training up. So until this point, I was only doing like five sessions a week, um, but I am going to um, move it to maybe seven sessions. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just splitting up the sessions. So um, I'm still going to have like five weightlifting sessions, but instead of doing my accessories like after training and I'm normally like knackered and everything else because I'm like I've just done loads of weightlifting like the last thing I want to do right now is do my bodybuilding stuff so basically we've just made separate bodybuilding sessions um so this morning I have some snatch complexes um and some behind neck jerks and some other stuff that I can't remember but you guys are going to see um and then this afternoon I've got more like bodybuilding stuff so today in terms of my weightlifting is almost like um, active recovery kind of day 
Um, there's no heavy squats or anything like that. So yeah, let's go to the gym. So welcome to Yorkshire Strength, everybody. The gym of choice in Yorkshire for future Olympian Sarah Davis. Here you can see why. I'm not very good at using my little tripod thing yet, sorry guys. But yeah, the gym is pretty cool. Um, woo! Didn't mean to go that way. Um, yeah, so let's get warmed up. Okay, so this complex was supposed to be one slow snatch, one snatch pull, and then one regular snatch. Um, that was one rep and I had it for doubles so it took forever to do a set and as you can see my slow snatches were not so slow so sorry coach I'll do better next time <laughs> So the snatch deadlifts are in here just to help with my start position a little bit more um, and the strength in that first pull and I'm also trying to focus on keeping my knees out during the first pull which as you can see I'm failing at. <laughs> so as you can see from <laughs> that dodgy little foot tap, um, the thing I'm trying to work on with my jerks and these are obviously behind neck jerks is getting my front foot to move out and forwards more um, as you can see there it comes in um, like inside the hip width whereas I want it to come out wider to get a um, wider base of support so we're working on it but apparently years and years of a gymnast being a gymnast and somersaulting and landing on a four inch wide beam doesn't help when it comes to trying to get a wider split jerk um, and there is also a, a hip shift that you'll see in this angle as well so we're working on that too but it is very slow progress on doing a lot of bad habits apologies for the bad camera angle but just finishing off the morning session with some plyometric uh, jump squats. Okay, so I'm just going to talk to you while I take my boots and everything off. Um, but that is really the first session done. I'm about to do some rolling and stretching once I've done this little chat to you guys. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. I realised, oh, Luke just turned up halfway through. This is like day five in a row. I did some playing around on Sunday too, so need to get better at recovery. So now we roll and we stretch. Okay, so let's try again with a little training review because then Luke came in and then other people came in and it was just a little bit chaotic. So, as I'm trying to get my lunch out the fridge, which is fish that I made last night and noodles, I'm just going to reheat. Um, yeah, so today's session I realised was day five in a row, um, which means my body's feeling pretty beaten up. No, you can't have this, Hector. Um, so my body is feeling it a little bit, and I'm just trying to get my way through. So I actually dropped a rep. So that snatch, slow snatch, snatch pull, snatch complex was supposed to be for threes. And by the way, that whole sentence is a, is a rep. Um, so that was supposed to be for three, so I dropped that down to doubles so that I could focus more on technique and stuff, and then also um, be a bit sensible, because I've obviously got the rest of the week to go. Um, snatch deadpools plate felt, snatch deadpools, snatch deadlift felt good, especially with the, um, the new three inch two pood belt, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? Behind neck jerks, can you see Hector in the background being nosy? <laughs> 
Um, behind neck jerks went well, I'm really trying to work on moving that front foot out. Um, I think years of being a gymnast and landing on a four inch wide beam with my feet like this um, doesn't help when it comes to weightlifting because um, that front foot just wants to come across. So I'm really trying to work on driving that foot out, mixed success with it. Um, and also using both legs when I dip and drive, so I really favour my right side and I get a hip shift and everything else. So. That's kind of what we're working on technically. Um, the jump squats, just to add a little bit of plyometric, a bit of a flush through. I had a roll and a stretch. I'm about to eat, do some video feedback, sit outside with Hector, check that he doesn't dig any holes again. And um, yeah, then we're gonna head back to the gym for session two. So now we refuel. Just look guys, this guy is living his absolute best life. Hey buddy, you don't have to move for us. Okay, so it is time to head back to the gym for round two. I need to take my phone charger because otherwise you're not going to get any footage from me. Um, right, come on Hecky. This is the challenge. You're going to be a good boy and go on your bed. Go on, on your bed. Come on. Good boy. Who's a good boy? You got the zippy? You say bye bye. See you soon. Kiss. Only kiss. Thank you. Right, guys. Let's go train. See you soon, heck. Uh, have I got everything? I think so. Gym keys. Kit bag. Right. Let's go. Okay, so we are back for round two. The gym is empty. This is my program, by the way. I'm not like reading you guys a speech. Um, so to, this afternoon is just kind of bodybuilding stuff. So I've got offset sumo squats. They're a really good one in terms of mobility, but also like glute strength and better hamstring work. Uh, I'm gonna do some clams because if I was at Atlas, I'd do the like adductor machine thing, um, but I've not got one here. Some pal off press, some band pull aparts some pull-ups, some straight leg sit-ups, and some good mornings. So it shouldn't take me too long. Like I'm hoping for like the hour and then I can get back and sit in the sunshine. So it's actually kind of cool in here right now, but I know that once I start moving, it's gonna get pretty sweaty. So this t-shirt won't be staying on at all. Um, yeah, see you soon. This exercise is a really good one for multiple reasons. Um, it's a good mobility exercise, kind of getting you in that bottom position and making those hips work. It's really making those hamstrings and glutes switch on. And the offset is obviously just working a little bit on stability and working that kind of cross body um, connection. So yeah, give it a try. We are really trying to work on getting my knees out in my um, first pull, so stuff like this is in there. I'd normally use the adductor machine at the gym, um, Atlas, but I didn't have one here, so I just got the band out instead. Okay. I used to, like, not slide off. Why do people do that stuff? Like, it's pointless if you can lift big weights. No, no. I can feel that burning, so clearly it's doing something. <sighs> if my butt wasn't big enough. Apparently, coach says it's not strong enough. Bad camera angles, I know. Um, if you've never tried this exercise before, give it a go. It's really good um, core exercise and working on that, like, anti-rotation. So, give it a spin. Not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed by my own back muscles when I watched this back. Um, really good exercise, important that we, you know, work on that upper back, helps us keep our back in nice and tight in the start position. Um, yeah, so many benefits and really easy to do. You can do it at home if you need to. Not gonna lie, face that way. Not only so you can see my back gains, but so you can see me pulling faces whilst just playing with an elastic band. 
can't go wrong really with chins or pull-ups or whatever you want to call them really good um, lat exercise and if you can't pull your own body weight up Hydra expects to put your own body weight above your head um, with a bar so check out wisdom for weightlifting for tips on how to progress these I chose to superset these exercises mainly because I was running out of time um, but the straight leg sit-ups obviously just a great ab exercise um, doing them with a 20 kilo disc give them a try for yourself start off with a lighter disc um, and just a little focus as well on getting your head through in that top position um, trying to transfer as much as possible like that's what we want with the jerk um, when the bar is overhead so really cool exercise something a little bit different and then obviously good mornings a bread and butter back exercise most of you will have seen them before most of you will have done them before um, I do them with the weight forwards in my feet so that like the balls of my feet so that it focuses more on the back rather than the hamstrings because um, that's really what I want to target when I'm doing them Okay, so second session done, um, just some assistance work, accessory work, took me about an hour, was in there longer because Luke turned up and we were chatting and putting the world to rights and yeah, um, now back home, it's like 30 degrees outside, still sunny at like 5 o'clock, so I'm going to go sit outside, do the rest of my video feedback and then make some dinner and yeah, that's kind of me for the day. So you're probably not going to see any more after this, so I'm going to shut up. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what like my double session looks like. Um, oh yeah, I did some rolling and stretching as well that you guys didn't see because I was chatting, so I wasn't filming. Um, but you can see that stuff on my channel and some of my other videos. Uh, I've got my mobility and like stretching videos, so check those out. And yeah, that's kind of me for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Get yourself some Barbell Queen merchandise. Um, it has it on the back too, whereas you guys won't have seen that today. But it's a cute little tie side. Anyways, um, I'll link that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all soon. Bye.